this one is with malt because today we prepare a perlin vice this recipe is requested from uh, Domenico that I want to greet if like him you have some requests write down in the comment maybe also some other people on the English channel on this channel uh, ask me this kind of beer but probably I forgot to write down the name sorry for this recipe we will use the advice from Lord Necrorder and now I will tell you all the ingredients 700 gram of Munich malt 700 gram of wheat malt 110 gram of uh, raw barley in total uh, no nine liters of water now I put six on the pot other three we will use later uh, for the hops I will use the Allertau Airbrooker 10 grams and 2 grams of flagols plus if you like it is uh, optional 50 grams of sugar that I will put directly in the ferment and naturally you need the brewing yeast this is the yeast that usually I use if you find German yeast is even better so now we need to on the stove the six liter that are inside the pot should reach the temperature of 45 celsius degree when we reach this temperature we add the grains the barley uh, and the wheat we pour a little bit and when we reach the temperature temperature sorry of 52 celsius degree we off the stove we cover with the lid and we wait 20 minutes after 20 minutes we on again our stove we mix everything very well and we should reach the temperature of 65 celsius degree reach the temperature we off again the stove we cover with the lid and we should wait 60 minutes After 60 minutes, we do the mesh out, so we on again the stove and we reach the temperature of 78 Celsius degree. Reach the temperature, we off the stove and we wait 10 minutes. I have already put the other pot on the stove, the other 3 liters, we should reach the same temperature. After 10 minutes, we can collect the first part of wharf. After we add the other 3 liters that already reach the temperature of 78, 80 Celsius degree in the grains that will remain in the pot.
collect all our work. Now we should put again the pot on the stove, on our stove. When our work start boiling, we should add the hop. First, we will add the hops, the 10 grams, called Allertau Erzberg Brooker. And after 40 minutes, we will add the other grams of plug holes. I don't know if you notice, here we have the grain that remain after the we have made the beer. You can use it then to make the bread. You can find the recipe here on the channel. I will put now the link. Okay guys, see you later. After 45 minutes in total, we take our pot, we put in the basin with the cold water and we should drop the temperature of our wharf at the room temperature. After we put everything in the fermenter. Okay, put the wort and the sugar in our fermenter. Now we should take a little bit of beer to check the initial gravity. In this way we can know the alcohol content. Plus we need to prepare the starter. So I will put a little bit of uh, wort inside the bottle with the yeast. Half bag will be enough. Five grams more or less. And after, I will put this balloon on the top. When the balloons uh, start growing, the fermentation means that it is already start inside the bottle. We put uh, our liquid that is in the bottle inside the fermenter and we go ahead with the fermentation. After 24 hours, the starter is ready. You can see from the balloon. The problem that waiting for the balloon that become like this, the fermentation start already in our fermenter. So I don't know the yeast that are creating my beer. The possibility are only two or that there were some yeast inside the tube uh, that I used to um, measure the gravity. Uh, by the way, the initial gravity is 1047, or the yeast that 
start the fermentation is from the mango wine because yesterday I put them together without the lid so maybe some is going out from our airlock uh, go inside our beer I don't know by the way now I will uh, put my starter inside the fermenter just in case and see you at the end of uh, the fermentation to put our beer in the bottles okay after one week we can put the beer in the bottle because you can see that the airlock is at level in reality from when you start to watch the video until now is more than one week is two months because when i start the beer uh, there was the problem of the coronavirus so my things i need to leave all the beer with the, all my stuff in one place in another apartment for more than one month the temperature was very hot and uh, we keep the fermentation in the fermenter for more than one month at the end the beer was spoiled so i throw it away but i done again the recipe so that we can go ahead with the video this time i use another technique the one that i call traditional way i make a video but in an italian channel i put here the link i hope that also if it is in italian you can understand the steps but now coming back to the beer you can follow the step that i already show we need to make the second fermentation in the bottles in this way we can have a sparkling beer to do this we need to put the sugar in the bottles eight gram of sugar per liter so for example this bottle is uh, half liter so i will put four gram of sugar four grams of sugar i use always the sugar bag for the coffee because it's easier to check the quantity because on the bag they write how many grams you have inside for example this one is six grams so i will put a little bit more than half of this bag in this bottle after that i put all the beer in the bottles i will check the uh, final gravity i will tell you the alcohol content of this beer and after two weeks, we need to wait two weeks after that we put the uh, beer in the bottle for the second fermentation. I will test it. So see you in two weeks. With these ingredients we obtain or we get five liters more or less of beer. This one is the yeast that I collect from the bottom of the fermenter. You can put the yeast in a jar like this with a lid and store in the fridge for six months. For sure for six months he will be uh, still good and active for the next fermentation and you can use for the next fermentation or you can use also for baking bread. Many people on the channel write me that they have no opportunity to find the yeast to bake the bread. You can use this one. Be careful only not to finish it. If you are, if it's difficult for you to find the yeast, you can do another fermentation and collect again the bottom of your uh, fermenter, or you can try to cultivate it. Water and sugar, and you need to wait that the fermentation finish again collect the yeast so remember that you can use this for the bread for the wine and for the beer plus i give you the alcohol content of this beer so the initial gravity was 1046 the final gravity that i check already was 1006 so when you should do the initial less the final so 1046 less 1006 we get 40 
Now this number we should divide for a specific number, a coefficient, coefficient, something like that, that depend of the instrument that you are using. I'm using the densimeter. So we need to divide this 40, divide 7.5, and we get 5.3 percent to alcohol content. But because we add the sugar in the bottle, and there will be a little bit of fermentation, we can add 0.5% of alcohol. So in total, the alcohol content of our beer will be more or less 5.8%. See you in two weeks to check and test our beer. Spectacular, very fresh, perfect for the summer. Plus, I'm drinking this beer, eating the homemade prosciutto, like prosciutto di Parma, Parma Am. So remember to subscribe to the channel, to click on the bell, because the next video will be the homemade prosciutto. Okay, guys, remember also to share this video with your friends watch the other videos and also for any suggestion, any question, always down in the comment. Bye bye.